We're now at lesson 1.2a, and we're going to be adding integers with different signs. We're going to be adding them on a number line. Integers with different signs are whole numbers in which one is positive and the other is negative, like a positive 5 plus a negative 2, or a negative 2 plus a positive 5. And remember the commutative property of addition states that we can add in any order and produce the same sum. So we can switch the add-ins around. When we add integers with different signs on a number line, one of the arrows cancels out. It removes part of the other arrow. What remains is the sum. We have a positive 5 plus a negative 2. What we do is we start at 0 and draw our arrow for positive 5. Then, because we're adding a negative 2, we're going to come back towards the negatives two units. This arrow is canceling out this part of the green arrow, and it's bringing us back to a positive 3. 5 plus negative 2 is equal to 3. So this is what we did. We had a positive 5 plus a negative 2. We need to find the sum. We have our number line. 5 is positive, so we begin by drawing an arrow from 0 to 5 to positive 5. Negative 2 is negative, so we start above the arrow for 5 right here and draw an arrow pointing left that is 2 units long. 1, 2. 5 plus a negative 2 is equal to 3. This arrow for the negative 2 brought us back to a positive 3. So that's our sum right here. This arrow canceled out this part of the other arrow. So what would happen if their signs were reversed? What if we had a negative 5 plus a positive 2? Well, negative 5 is negative, so we begin by drawing an arrow from 0 to negative 5. The 2 is positive, so starting above the arrow for negative 5, right here, we draw an arrow pointing to the right, that's heading towards the positives, that is 2 units long, 1, 2. That's going to put us at a negative 3. And this arrow canceled out this part of the negative 5 arrow. Negative 5 plus 2 is equal to negative 3. Now we have a positive 4 plus a negative 4. We draw an arrow from 0 to positive 4 to represent this add end. Then we draw an arrow pointing to the left that is 4 units in length. So we have our positive 4. Now we're going to add a negative 4. We need to go 1, 2, 3, 4 units towards the negative side of the number line. That puts us at 0. This arrow canceled out this arrow. The arrows cancel each other out. 4 plus negative 4 is equal to 0. For positive 4, the arrow points to the right. For negative 4, the arrow points to the left. Here we have negative 8 plus 3. That's a negative, that's a positive. This arrow is going to point to the left. We start at 0, and we draw an arrow to show the length to negative 8. Then directly above negative 8, we draw an arrow pointing towards the positive side of the number line that is 3 units long, because it's a positive 3. 1, 2, 3. That brings us to negative 5. This arrow canceled out this part of negative 8's arrow, and it brought us to negative 5. Negative 8 plus 3 is equal to negative 5. On a number line, the positive direction is to the right, or up, if it's a vertical number line. The negative direction is to the left, or 
down if it's a vertical number line. 4 plus a negative 1 is equal to 3, and negative 1 plus 4 is equal to 3. We switched the add-ins around. Here the 4 was first and the negative 1 was second. Here the negative 1 was first and the 4 was second. They're both equal to 3 because we can add in any order and produce the same sum. That's the commutative property of addition. If we have positive 4 plus a negative 1, we draw our arrow going from 0 to 4. Then for the negative 1, we start at the 4 and draw it back to the left, one unit that brings us to a positive 3. The negative 1 is the first add-in, and we're adding 4. We start with 0 and draw an arrow going to negative 1. Then from negative 1, we draw an arrow going in the positive direction to the right, 4 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, and that brings us to a 3. doesn't matter which order the add-ins are in. The commutative property of addition says we'll get the same sum. So if you remember, when adding like signs, our arrows will be pointing in the same direction. If we're adding a positive 1 and a positive 2, both arrows are pointing in the positive direction to the right. When we're adding a negative 1 plus a negative 2, those are like signs, our arrows are both pointing towards the negative side, the left side of the number line. But when adding different signs, our arrows will point in opposite directions. If we have a positive 1 plus a negative 2, we start at 0 and draw an arrow to positive 1. Then above it, we draw an arrow heading back to the left for the negatives, 2 units, 1, 2, that puts us at a negative 1. These arrows are going in opposite directions, and we can see the arrow for negative 2 is longer because it has a greater absolute value. Remember, absolute value is a number's distance from 0, and negative 2 is farther from 0 than 1 is. Here we have a negative 1 plus 2. We start from 0 and draw an arrow to negative 1, heading towards the left, the negative side, then we're adding a positive 2, so we're going to go back towards the right two units, 1, 2, and that's going to put us at a positive 1. So remember from the previous lesson, the commutative property only works for addition or multiplication. We can add 3 plus 5 or 5 plus 3, and we'll get the same sum, 8. We can multiply 3 times 5 or 5 times 3, we'll get the same product, 15. But for subtraction, it won't work. We can't have a 5 minus 3 and a 3 minus 5 that are equal to each other. And it doesn't work for division. If we have 15 divided by 3, it is not equal to 3 divided by 15. So the commutative property only works for addition or multiplication. So now we're finished with this lesson. We're going to move on to the next part, modeling sums of integers with different signs, and that's 1.2b. So just remember, as you're drawing these number lines, when we're adding like signs, our arrows will go in the same direction. They'll point in the same direction. And when we're adding different signs, our arrows will point in opposite directions. Have a great day. Keep trying your best, and I'll see you next time. Bye.